Oh, oh, my urine is all blood. It's all blood. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is definitely unsettling. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no. This is not good. Oh. Oh, I, I fell in my own pea blood. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, God. Spit acting. Vengeance, 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 vengeance. I can't even think of anything to say about the Farmer's Almanac. Val Kilmer is one of those interesting celebrities who started off basically as sexy as you can be as a human being and then ended up basically as disgusting as you can be as a human being. You start like, and there are other people on that list too. Marlon Brando, obviously. And what's, I can't, I totally forgot. Val Kilmer and Marlon Brando were in the island of Dr. Moreau. Maybe Marlon Brando, between takes, told Val Kilmer his secrets for getting fat and disgusting. <coughs> Tuberculosis. I'm your huckleberry. And then fat. Arby's is a delicious restaurant because the beef, it doesn't even taste like beef, but it's sliced so thinly. And I like, I like the cojones of a restaurant to say, we're only going to serve thinly sliced roast beef on buns. And then, of course, their menu just got ridiculous with all kinds of market fresh things and chicken and all this stuff. But back when it was just super thin sliced slow cooked roast beef with Arby sauce and horsey sauce on a bun, that and curly fries, I mean, what more does a human being need in this world? Today's fast food and food history debate is going to be about nachos. And our contestants are a stick and my gun. Can you tell me why nachos are the greatest food you've ever seen? Well, nachos are delicious and when you're hungry, nothing is better than corn and melted cheese. Plus, you can put other stuff on it too. Meat, peppers, sour cream, hot sauce, all kinds of stuff. That's a very good point, Stick. Now, let's have a, let's have the opposing opinion from the gun. Bang, bang, bang. Gun wins. Do you want to know the real story behind nachos? One time, a traveling dignitary went down to visit a high-profile government official in Mexico, and his American wife was a very picky eater, and so the cook at the Mexican's house didn't know what to feed her and took some old corn tortillas that were stale and cut them up and poured some cheese on them. And, he, and then the lady was like, these are delicious, and nachos were born. Both very good points about nachos. Man, it's fucked.